Hello everyone, welcome to the video, my name is Kozlix. Today I'm going to be going over with you guys a cool Lance tutorial. Not really cool because I'm making a video. But anyways, today there's a Lance tutorial. How do you play Lance at the end of 2019? Uh, and I haven't done a Lance tutorial in about a year now, so I thought I would update you guys on how I play Lance, what's the best way to play Lance, what's optimal, and what you guys should be practicing. If you do enjoy this type of content, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and comment down below what other type of content you'd like to see. I read a lot of the comments as long as the video is positive comments, and if it has like decent views, it makes me want to keep reading them. You know, so yeah, maybe share the video, whatever, if, if you like it. Um, so yeah, Lance tutorial. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into training room, make sure the bot is in the center. If you don't know how to do that, to move the bot to the center, Go to bot settings, switch CPU control mode by going like that. Now you can move the CPU and now put them in the center. And damage reset, if it's off, turn it on. And position reset, if it's off, turn it on. And that will make it so he resets in this location. You can see if I move around, I'm gonna reset, see? So now we switch it off, back to regular. And go to player settings, turn show damage on, show stun on, show hitboxes on, show hurtboxes on, and the item spawning should be turned off. So now you got the bot in center. If you want to switch your weapon, you go hammer or lance. For me, it's uh, scarlet, so yeah, but we're going to go lance. So we're going to be talking about also like what to do in certain situations, but straight up with combos, if you are silver, gold, or platinum, you need to make sure these combos become bread and butter. And what that means is you can input them without even thinking. Um, and which combo should you use at which time? So in white health right now, the best combo you could do is side light downer. You perform this by doing a side light and then you need to do a jump downer at the exact same time. So if you actually hit the jump button and downer button literally at the exact same time, it will jump first and then downer immediately. So you need to go like side light whoops sorry side light and then just click them both at the exact same time and do it right after you hit the sound so like side light and then right when that sound is done like the tooth you can input again just for timing so you should input right when that sound ends don't start inputting when that sound ends but right when it ends if you use tap up to jump then it's a lot harder because you're gonna have to hold down like let's say I use like WASD I don't have tap up to jump on let me actually just turn this on real quick so now I got tap up to jump on the only way to do this is you're gonna have to hold down both S and W if you want to input it so you gotta hold down if it's WASD for instance and use W to jump you click W and S and then you click J at the same time Oops. See how it's like a jump down there? So that's how you input it with the uh, keyboard. If you use tap up to jump. So it's like, so it's like side light and then you're gonna have to somehow press both of them. It's pretty hard to input, but it's a lot easier if you use space because then you can just click space and down, you know? I don't recommend using tap up to jump if you play Lance, but that's just how you do it, you know? Anyways, so yeah, side light down there, and the reason why that is the best option is you can keep following up. This only works very close to white, so that you should only do it in white. But the best follow up is end light, it's one dodge frame, but which means it's very consistent to land, it's a pretty safe option. It's not true, but you'll almost always hit it. So side light, down air, and then end light once you hit the ground. It's just timing. Down air end light is one dodge frame, so make sure you do the combo. A true here and then one dodge frame follow up. Just like that. And then that is a quick bread and butter white health way to do damage. Um, some other combos that you could learn just in raw neutral when they're in white health. If you do like a nair and you hit reverse, nair stare is going to work a bit later. But you can kind of like follow up like nair dares and stuff like that. That's an actual. I didn't even know that was true at first. Holy crap, wait. Okay. I didn't know that was true. I just found a new true combo. I knew Nair Sarah was true, not Nair Dare. I gotta start doing that more. So, yeah, if you Nair and you hit the backwards part of Nair, 
on the ground, you can actually jump and do follow-ups. And so something like Nair, Dare, and Light, uh, that should be true with a one thousand follow-up. Obviously, it's going to be hard to get it true. Uh, I didn't even know it was true. But like, see right there, true, and then one dodge and follow up. So that's a pretty good like little thing that you can do in white health. Uh, what else? See, so yeah, Nair Sarah will work kind of later, but for now that's probably a very good option. Um, also, there's side air into end light. That is two dodge frames. Quick little bread and butter string. People are most likely going to get out of that because you can dodge and jump. But it's just something to practice. So side light downer, Nair there. Uh, Sarah and light, uh, down light and light, if I can put it properly, is true on nine decks. Uh, one or two dodge frames, depending on how much dexterity you have. Uh, I don't use this that much because it is two dodge frames. Same with Sarah and light, because at a pro level, they're gonna dodge it almost every time. But it could be very good depending on which uh, Lance Legend you choose. So, yeah. There's also now end light, down light. So end light into dash down light is also true on graphs. Uh, so you can go like end light, dash, down light, end light. Uh, this is like nine decks for action. You need this to be true. But it is a string nonetheless. So practice that as well. Um, once you get the health into like orange, side light down air is no longer an option. So your best option off side light is side light jump neutral air. Uh, side light jump neutral air can go into another neutral air. That's probably your safest option. It can also go into a down air. If they dodge down, it also picks up. So, uh, dodge reaction, down, side light air, down air. See what I mean? And if you get the dodge, you can kind of keep following up. But it also, like, uh, side light there also kind of hits with everything dodging at all. So, someone in white. Or not white, uh, someone in silver or like a really low ranking that just doesn't dodge, you can use side light and air there. Especially at like earlier health, it's a bit easier. Um, in orange, they kind of push, the air pushes them up a little high. Uh, there's also side light and air jump air, which is good if they're dodging to the right. If they're spot dodging, you can always do a signature. Signatures have a lot of startup, so you can like wait a second and then use the signatures. Uh, if they're if they're always dodging the same way, you can use a signature to try and get a really early KO. Like for instance, if you always see the dodge reaction is down or something, then I could do N Sig and I will actually cover. See what I mean? So it's really just like observing side light and air, and then trying to observe which way they're going. If they're staying the same, you can down air. If they're like dodging up or something, you can use an air. Uh, Nair is always the safest option if you don't know what they're gonna do. Just keep nairing. You can kind of juggle with it, you know. Um, but yeah, just side light Nair is the best option. Um, at orange, you can't do things like Sarah and light, but uh, something like a Nair Sarah. Oh, is that not an option? If you hit the very bottom part of Nair, but if you hit like the diagonal side, then it does become a true option. The very bottom part is kind of hard to do anything off. I don't know, you could try and get like a Sig read or something, but there is probably your best option. But if you're hitting that diagonal part, or not there, but like that part, you can go Nair Sair. Um, you can also obviously go Nair there, but Nair Sair is also, I think, a little easier to hit consistently through. I did not find that right. But yeah, it's pretty easy to get true. So I'm automatically really neutral with it and um, it set you up into like getting like an edge guard or something, you know? So once they pass that 90 health, once they're in like that 150, 160, side light recovery is your best option. If you're on the ground, you are trying to kill. Side light recovery is a consistent kill option. It takes a bit of time to practice, but once you get it, make sure you get it every time. It should be bread and butter. What I like to do is side light, and then I drag my finger. I use controller, so I drag it from A to B. You can actually click them at the exact same time. Like, you can literally click them both at the same time. If I'm on like keyboard, and I'm using space to jump, just click space uh, K, I believe. Yeah. So it's like, space K at the same time. 
literally the same time, it will always jump first. But I like drag my finger fast enough that it's registering it at the exact same time. And you can kind of see, I'm just like, kind of, right, just dragging it. You can kind of hear me. And it takes a bit of practice and timing to get used to, of like when you can input the jump recovery. It used to feel different. They changed that when they added it back in, but uh, it just takes some time to get used to. It's not like that big of a deal. But yeah, and also side light and air is still an option. If you think the side light recovery won't kill, like on shipwreck, I'm not killing the Rayman. I need him to be 170. And now it will kill. So if it's like 160 or something like that, you can always go like near recovery, near Sair is an option that doesn't kill. Landing Sair can sometimes kill. Uh, near recovery doesn't really work. Like, I, you can do it not off the ground very easily. Uh, side like near recovery, uh, side like near, another near recovery. You kind of see what I mean? Just try and land both recovery and stare, but your best bet is side light recovery. Um, and that's just kind of Lance on ground. In neutral, the best way to play Lance is actually playing it grounded. Staying on the ground, waiting for your opponent is the best way to win neutral with Lance. Using aerial options like Sares and Bears, it's very easy to be punished by. Although it might work in silver or gold, it won't work at a high level. So your best bet is practicing land on the ground and really practice learning how to land side light. Side light sets you up for the most amount of damage follow-ups, and you get an automatic kill option when you need to go. So yeah, definitely practice using side light. Um, dash side light is very good because you get a lot of range out of it. I can actually reach Rayman from all the way over here with little to no extra startup frames. See, I misinputted the timing. I, I actually misinput that timing a lot more than like I should. But uh, yeah, no, just dash side light, really practice that. It's a great way to punish on the ground. Like if a gun player uses like gun down light, you can kind of just like dash side light it. I just messed up the timing. But yeah. Just dash side light, and um, that's kind of it. Just really practice on the ground with Lance. When it comes to off stage, I don't recommend going off stage. Your best options off stage are ground pounds when you know that they need to touch the edge and they don't have a dodge, or um, uh, literally switch off the weapon. <laughs> and, like it doesn't have any ground like off stage options. You could like Lance down air if you know that they don't have a dodge and you want to send them back away. Same with Sarah. But they're very risky. If they have a dodge, they're just going to dodge through you. It's pretty easy to see the move coming. And uh, from me, on a map like Shipwreck, my hammer side stick literally covers the entire edge. Like, you're not going to be able to touch. There's barely any room down there to touch. And the odds are you'll hit one of my other hitboxes. So, um... Yeah, just switch the hammer because hammers OP on the edge. Or like if you're playing like Lance Bow, for instance, Bow is better on the edge. Uh, Lance Guns, Guns are better. You kind of see what I mean. Lance Sword, Sword is better. So just switch. You know? That's your best bet. Uh, thank you guys for listening to this oh next tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys all later. Take care.